our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus, his name above all names. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. Amen. So praise his name today. And today, brothers and sisters, is the greatest story ever told. It starts off in John chapter 1, 1. It reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh. This is the greatest story ever told. And so we're going to learn about our Lord and Savior before he comes incarnated in human form to die for the sins of the world. And so now we'll read in Judges chapter 13, starting in verse 2. Now there was a certain man from Zorah of the family of the Dinites, whose name was Manoah. And his wife was barren and had no children. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Indeed, now you are barren and have borne no children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. I'm reading from verse 6. So the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came to me, and his countenance was like the countenance of the angel of God. Very awesome. Then Menorah prayed to the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, please let the man of God whom you sent come to us again and teach us what we shall do for the child who will be born. And God listened to Menorah's prayer. The angel of the Lord came. And reading verse 15, Then Menorah said to the angel of the Lord, Please, let us detain you, and we will prepare a young goat for you. And the angel of the Lord said to Manoah, Though you detain me, I will not eat your food. But if you offer a burnt offering, you must offer it to the Lord. And Manoah did not know he was the angel of the Lord. And Manoah asked him his name. And reading verse 18, And the angel of the Lord said to him, Why do you ask my name? Seeing it is wonderful. So Menorah took the young goat and the grain offering, and he offered it upon the rock of the Lord. And he did a, a wondrous thing while Menorah and his wife looked on. It happened as the flame went up towards heaven from the altar. The angel of the Lord ascended in a flame of the altar. He ascended to heaven, flew through the flaming fire. The angel of the Lord, the angel of God, is none other than the word who became flesh and dwelt among us. Let's look at another amazing story. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 17. We'll start reading at verse 1. Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transformed before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud covered and shadowed them. And suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. You see, this is the divine Lord who came incarnated, made into a human, so you and I could be saved forever. But here, they get to see him in his glory. They get to see the other side of him, what he is like in heaven. And it's very powerful. Very powerful. The ark that the Jews had, wherever the ark was, they were victorious at war. If the ark left them, they had some problems. So David goes to get the ark one day with his men, and the ark slips because the mule slipped. And Uzar grabbed the ark and it angered God, struck him and killed him right there. Because the word of God says that in between the cherubims, which they had made, that God told him to make, 
in between the mercy seat. The Lord of hosts was there. That's what the word of God says. And Isaiah tells us the Redeemer is the Lord of hosts. The King of the Jews. You know who that is. Yes. And that's our God, our Lord and Savior. It's just amazing. You've all heard about Jacob wrestling a man. But he turns out it's not a man. It's the angel of God, God himself. He wants to be blessed, and only God can do this. He changes Jacob's name to Israel. But then the Lord touches his thigh, and he limps from that day forward. He limped for the rest of his life. People like to think, oh, Jacob won the war, the wrestling match. No, he didn't. No. You never want to wrestle with God. Amen. So brothers and sisters, we always need to please God and do his will. And his will is not that we continue to sin. And so if you haven't repented of your sinful ways, brothers and sisters, do it today. I will lead you in a prayer of repentance. And so if you desire that, and God is drawing you because no one is saved, except for the ones the Father draws. And the only way to be saved is through Jesus. So if that's you, brothers and sisters, please bow your heads right now and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I humbly come before your throne. I am a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins all the sins I have ever done. Even sins I did, I didn't know they were sins, Lord. Please wash me with the blood of Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. You write my name in the book of life. And I pray this in the precious name of Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, remember to serve our Lord every day until he comes back for us. Amen. Amen.